This weekend is Valentine's Day, and it is nice to have a special someone to spend it with. But what if you aren't in a relationship, or you are looking for a relationship? With us today is Danielle Graham from Together Pittsburgh to talk about ministry to singles. Danielle, welcome to Real Life. We're Thank glad you. you're here. Thank you for it's having me. So nice to yeah. have okay. you. Well, start us off. What is you're, we're talking about a program you have called How to Avoid Falling for a Jerk. I love or that jerkette. name. Or <laughs> Jerkette. Or Jerkette, yes. Um, we what always reiterate that the class is not um, for one gender specifically. Mm -hmm. um, it's for males and females because a male or a female can be a jerk in Absolutely. a relationship. Sure. So what, what is the definition of a jerk? <laughs> uh, so the way we kind of define the uh, jerk, it's actually one of the opening activities we'll do. Okay. We'll ask about different um, characteristics of a jerk. And sometimes people, you know, bring out the obvious liar, cheater, right. um, you know, somebody who's very controlling or something mm -hmm. like that. And then we talk about, okay, well, all of us kind of have those moments sure, where we absolutely. can lie or we've cheated in our lives mm -hmm. or we've done things um, that were displeasing. And so we talk about the fact that it's a matter of whether or not we acknowledge those behaviors and try mm -hmm. to deal with them versus somebody who persistently resists, resists changing them. Okay. Okay. So. so is this program something that goes to churches or how do you get involved in something like this? Um, yes, we, we actually facilitate in uh, a lot of churches around the city. Um, we also facilitate in community centers. Um, I'm actually currently doing a workshop at the Kingsley Center. Um, so we have a lot of different organizations that we take the information wherever people are willing to hear and listen. Okay. And so tell us a little bit about how long it is, how it's set up, and... Um, it actually is structured however the church wants to or the organization wants to facilitate. Okay. Um, it's generally the best um, way to do it is to have five-week sessions, and we'll do two hours each session for five weeks okay. um, to really get you in-depth in the information, mm -hmm. get the people involved in conversation, um, asking questions. But then sometimes we'll do kind of a, a snapshot. So okay. we'll do a one-day mm -hmm. or a two-day thing oh, for a great. couple hours. Is there an age, or could it be a multitude of ages? It's a variety. Okay. Um, this information is wide-ranged. Um, mm -hmm. It's useful for long-term building relationships, mm -hmm. building okay. love long-term relationships. Mm -hmm. um, so we have people in there that are single, never married, um, single again, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. um, uh, myself, um, mm -hmm. I'm divorced. Or some people are single again because they're widows, widowers. Right, sure. um, and so we have a variety of ages, variety okay. of backgrounds and experiences mm -hmm. with singleness. Mm -hmm. And they're all there for one reason is to find or not to avoid being involved for a jerk or jerkette. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and we all want to avoid that, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I know. I was looking through this workout, and so this the, or this workbook, it really does talk about some of the different um, preparation things to get ready for, for a relationship. And I was intrigued a little bit. The one session is the ingredients for a lasting relationship. What would be some of those ingredients? Um, we go through a whole session. Um, the proponents of the program is that you want to follow your heart without losing your mind. Mm -hmm. And so we, um, the program's kind of broken down in those two ways. Um, and so we talk about the mind, uh, five areas that you kind of need to get to know about a person okay. before you can really determine if this is going to be a healthy long-term attachment for you. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are some of the ingredients that we talk about, those five things that you need to get to know. Mm -hmm. And it's actually an acronym called FACES. Um, mm -hmm. So we look at family background. Okay. Attitude and actions of the conscience, compatibility components, mm -hmm. examples from other relationships, and skills and relationships. Oh. That we will all explore all of those things. Very fascinating. Very, I, mm -hmm. And also, I wanted to ask you too, sometimes when we talk about the jerks and the jerkettes, we tend to think, oh, you mean somebody that's not a, a believer or a Christian. But there's Christian jerks and jerkettes out there too, aren't there? Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a matter of being saved or not. 
not right. saved. Yes. Um, and one of the things we talk about in the compatibility section, we talk about values in terms of faith. Mm -hmm. And I always reiterate, um, it's one of my personal stances um, to be sure to reiterate in the class, is that faith is not just a matter of whether or not somebody's saved or not saved, mm -hmm. um, or whether or not they go to church or don't go to church. What is their value about their faith? Mm -hmm. You know, do they value attending right. church services right. versus uh, I can go maybe for a special event, I can go for right. Easter, I can go for right. something because that would become a battle. Mm -hmm. You know, if you really are concerned about having your kids involved in church and your partner is like, right. eh, whatever, right. you know, you might have a That's debate a later. Deal. You know, yes. so what are your values around faith, mm -hmm. not just whether or not you're saved? Right. Oh, right. Great and tips. you brought a little model here, too. Yes. Yeah. One of the um, other things that we deal with in the uh, we'll class is yeah. um, we'll see what you can. one of our one yeah. of our tools in the class is our RAM chart, the relationship attachment model. And we talk about these five areas are important for building a healthy attachment in a relationship. Okay. Okay. And so you don't want to know less about a person than you trust them. Okay. So I should know about as much as mm. my ability to uh, build trust with you okay. is based on how much I know about you. Okay. And then I kind of go through reliance based on how much I can trust you and how much I know about you. Yeah, very And important. then same with commitment. I shouldn't be more committed to you than I can rely on you, than I can trust you, than I know about you. Right. And then he definitely should uh, minimize touch if Absolutely. I don't have commitment, yeah. reliance, trust, and knowledge about you. Sure. That's awesome. I really, I think that those charts and the visual really helps us evaluate relationships and where they are. It definitely does. Mm -hmm. It gives you a visual aid and mm -hmm. sometimes we'll talk about those dynamics of somebody who's overly attached mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. somebody who's naive in relationships and you kind of see that visually and it kind of gives you a different way of looking at yourself and Absolutely. examining your situation. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so thank much you. for being here. It's been a wonderful time and it sounds like such a fascinating course it to go is, through. It is, and it's a lot of fun. We have a good time in the class. Mm -hmm. To get more information, we can go to our website at ctvn.org, mm -hmm. and um, also, and we can provide information about what's going on, yes. right? Yes, and Together Pittsburgh has a Facebook page as well, okay. um, and they also have a website, yes. Great, awesome. thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.